Hey, I'm Jocelyn, and today we are making one of my favorite cocktails. Sandra's gonna make this, but this recipe is her husband Charlie's, and um, I will never forget the first time Charlie made me one of these, and we're hanging out in her kitchen, and we just kind of all vegged out drinking these things. Actually, we didn't veg out because this is an espresso old fashioned, and the espresso kind of gets you going. Um, it's actually a great thing to have before dinner, especially like we always have really long dinners, right? We'll sit at the dinner table for hours, our families talking and gossiping and just hanging out together for like two, three, sometimes four hours, um, basically until the candles burn all the way down. But this is a great thing to start a dinner with, I think. And I think it's a wonderful thing if you're having people over for dinner that you have this first and then kind of go on with your night. Kind of move on with your dinner. So yeah. yeah. This is an, a little bit of an unusual one. Charlie didn't actually invent this, he adapted it. And when well, that's he, why it's his recipe. When he first came <laughs> to me, he said, why would you like an espresso old fashioned? I said, no, I think that sounds terrible. <laughs> and he made one anyway and said, no, really, you must try this. And he was right. Thankfully. It's excellent. He talked me into it. So um, it's a really easy drink, but it's so good and robust. And I think that we can enjoy this. So I'm going to take some ice into my shaker. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna tell you, I don't have an espresso machine. I just made really strong coffee. Actually, I made Greek style coffee, which is similar to Turkish coffee. Um, and I just let it cool. I made this several hours ago and um, stuck it in the fridge for a little while. And we're just gonna do that. So you don't, don't feel like you have to have an espresso machine, right? Like right. it's just, as long as it's good, strong coffee, that's enough. Absolutely. And I'll yeah. tell you too, um, we generally have, we keep a jar in our refrigerator because <laughs> we have, uh, we make espresso on the stove and there's always a little bit left over. So we just pour it into the jar. Add so it. instead of having to make a special batch of coffee for this mm -hmm. cocktail, we always have cold coffee in our fridge. So don't. And also, I mean, who doesn't need cold coffee in their fridge occasionally? Know, sometimes you want an iced coffee and it's right there for Middle you. Middle of the day, you might need it. And so this being simply Jocelyn, keep it simple. Keep your stuff on hand. It's <laughs> easy. All right, so we're going to start with our favorite friend, bourbon. Yay, bourbon. Two ounces. We've talked about this before. Bourbon should always be in two ounces, in my opinion. <laughs> And we went ahead for showmanship and pre-measured two ounces of our espresso. Super tasty. Super tasty. So equal parts, bourbon and espresso, and then just a quarter a ounce little bit, yeah. of sugar. So this is not a very sweet drink, but it's going to smooth it out a little bit. I feel like... Um, if you're like me, you can't really drink any coffee without a skosh of sugar. I just need like a little something to take the edge off, right? This just kind of rounds out that yeah. bitterness that happens in coffee and that's all this is really. Absolutely. And so just a couple of dashes of Peixos. This is Peixos, not a mistura. And then we're gonna clamp on our strainer. I just put some ice in the sauce today. Love this drink. You know, I think this would also be an, a good after dinner drink. Um, but in my opinion, for me, it would need to be an early dinner if I'm going to have an after dinner because otherwise I'll never go to sleep because the caffeine in this coffee is, it's something to be reckoned with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That little foam on top. I love it. Where did our lovely strip of lemon go? Oh, hang on just a second. There you go. Okay, and so once you push that, I'm going to take your nice fat strip of lemon peel. Go ahead and rub right that on the rim. Twist it. And I think this lemon is like something that totally makes this drink. It does. It changes everything. Don't leave it out. It really It's a huge difference. So thank you very much. You're welcome. It, you don't think you're gonna love the smell of coffee? Lemon it doesn't get coffee and lemon sound strange, but it's so, so nice. good. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my God. I think you might make this as well as Charlie. Don't tell him I said that. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So this is an espresso old fashioned and, um, you should totally have one of these this weekend and maybe for breakfast, you can have coffee and bourbon for breakfast, right? Yeah, it's got coffee. It's a <laughs> breakfast drink. It's totally a breakfast drink. And there's citrus in there. Why not? <laughs> All right. So that's it for our Friday cocktail and um, we will see you next week. Yeah. Sounds great. All right. Cheers. Bye.